uh, the biggest and most powerful vehicle that Mazda has ever built. In the world of internal combustion engines, the rotary engine has long captivated our imaginations with its innovation. Yet it's not without its challenges. High fuel consumption, low torque, emissions issues, and intricate lubrication systems have hindered its full potential. But what if I told you there's a groundbreaking technology that defies these limitations? A revolutionary engine that unlocks five times the power of a diesel engine, while also slashing fuel consumption and emissions in half. This is the real work of Liquid Pistons engineers. So what is this engine? And how does it compare to conventional engines? The major difference which very few people uh, think about is the cycle. It's operate on the different cycle. Join us as we delve into details of this new rotary engine that is poised to deliver five times the power of a diesel. Before we delve into the comprehensive details of this new rotary engine, let's understand some context. The automotive industry has long been searching for a more efficient and cleaner alternative to the conventional piston engine for decades. One of the most promising candidates is the rotary engine, which has a simpler design and fewer moving parts than the piston engine. However, the rotary engine also has some drawbacks, such as high fuel consumption, low torque, and high emissions. In 2022, Mazda announced its all-new Wankel engine, which is a type of rotary engine that uses a triangular rotor to create a combustion chamber. The new Wankel engine claims to have improved fuel efficiency, lower emissions, and higher power output than the previous versions. Mazda plans to use the new Wankel engine as a range extender for its electric vehicles, as well as a standalone powertrain for its sports cars. But Mazda was not the only company that was working on a new rotary engine. Not too long after Mazda announced its all-new Wankel engine Liquid Piston, an engineering firm which has support from the U.S. Pentagon, announced its new groundbreaking engine. Liquid Piston is a company that develops and manufactures a new type of rotary engine called the X-Engine, which is the generic name for the family of engines based on the XTS-210. The X-Engine is a pistonless engine that operates on a patented thermodynamic cycle called the High Efficiency Hybrid Cycle, HEHC. Unlike conventional engines, the X-Engine uses a single rotor that performs both compression and expansion of the working fluid, resulting in higher efficiency and lower emissions. The company says its new XTS-210 engine is a breakthrough in rotary engine technology that solves the efficiency, lubrication, and fuel type issues of Wankel rotary engines. The XTS-210 is a revolutionary engine that boasts an impressive performance. It is a supercharged, liquid-cooled, two-stroke engine that claims to deliver five times the power of a diesel engine of the same size or weight, and three times the torque. This engine is designed for various applications that require high power density, fuel efficiency, and multi-fuel capability such as military, commercial, and aerospace sectors. How does the XTS-210 stack up against other types of engines, such as the Wankel engine and the piston engine? Keep watching to find out. The XTS-210 is a compact and lightweight engine that measures about the size of a basketball, weighs only 19 kilograms, and has a displacement of 210 cc. It can run on different kinds of fuels, including diesel and kerosene jet fuel. The company aims to achieve a power output of about 20 kilowatts and a torque of 29.4 newton meters, both at 6,500 RPM. According to Liquid Piston, these numbers are remarkable when compared with the Kohler KDW 1003E536A, a diesel engine that is roughly five times larger and four times heavier than the XTS-210. The Kohler engine produces 18.8 kilowatts, 25.2 GP, and 63 newton meters of torque at its peak. Another advantage of the XTS-210 is its simplicity. The engine has only two primary moving parts, a rotor and a shaft. The rotor has a peanut-shaped profile that fits inside a tri-lobed housing, creating three combustion chambers that cycle through the four phases of the high-efficiency hybrid cycle, HEEHC, intake, compression, power, and exhaust. 
The shaft is connected to the rotor by a planetary gear system that allows the rotor to spin at a different speed than the shaft, optimizing the engine performance. But why did Liquid Piston choose to invert the Wankel engine design? What are the benefits of doing so? And what are the challenges that the company faced in developing this innovative engine? Let's dive deeper into the details. One of the main reasons why Liquid Piston decided to reverse the Wankel engine design is to improve the sealing of the combustion chambers. The Wankel engine has a problem with sealing the apexes of the triangular rotor, which causes leakage of the working fluid and reduces the efficiency and power output of the engine. The XTS-210 solves this problem by using a peanut-shaped rotor that has curved apexes that match the shape of the housing. This ensures a better seal and prevents leakage of the working fluid. Another reason why Liquid Piston inverted the Wankel engine design is to increase the compression ratio of the engine. The compression ratio is the ratio of the volume of the combustion chamber before and after compression. A higher compression ratio means a higher efficiency and power output of the engine. The Wankel engine has a low compression ratio because the volume of the combustion chamber is determined by the area of the triangular rotor, which is fixed. The XTS-210 increases the compression ratio by using a variable geometry of the combustion chamber. The volume of the combustion chamber is determined by the distance between the rotor and the housing which can be changed by adjusting the eccentricity of the rotor. The eccentricity is the offset of the center of the rotor from the center of the shaft. By increasing the eccentricity, the rotor moves closer to the housing, reducing the volume of the combustion chamber and increasing the compression ratio. A third reason why liquid piston inverted the Wankel engine design is to reduce the heat loss of the engine. The heat loss is the amount of heat that escapes from the combustion chamber to the surroundings, which lowers the efficiency and power output of the engine. The Wankel engine has a high heat loss because the surface area of the combustion chamber is large compared to the volume. The XTS-210 reduces the heat loss by using a smaller surface area of the combustion chamber. The surface area of the combustion chamber is determined by the perimeter of the rotor, which is smaller for a peanut-shaped rotor than a triangular rotor. These are some of the advantages of the XTS-210 over the Wankel engine, but the XTS-210 also has some challenges that it needs to overcome. One of the challenges is the lubrication of the engine. The Wankel engine uses an oil injection system that injects oil into the combustion chamber to lubricate the apex seals of the rotor. The XTS-210 uses a dry sump system that pumps oil to the rotor and the shaft through external channels. The dry sump system has the advantage of avoiding oil contamination of the working fluid, which improves the emissions and fuel efficiency of the engine. However, the dry sump system also has the disadvantage of requiring a more complex and expensive oil pump and oil cooler. Another challenge that the XTS-210 faces is the cooling of the engine. The Wankel engine uses a water cooling system that circulates water around the engine to absorb heat. The XTS-210 uses an air cooling system that uses fins on the housing to dissipate heat to the air. The air cooling system has the advantage of being simpler and lighter than the water cooling system. However, the air cooling system also has the disadvantage of being less effective and more noisy than the water cooling system. Despite these drawbacks, the XTS-210 stands as a remarkable engine that has many benefits over the Wankel engine and the piston engine. It is more efficient, powerful, compact, lightweight, and multi-fuel capable than both types of engines. It also has a simpler and more elegant design than both types of engines. Liquid Piston co-founder and CEO Alex Skolnick explained the advantages of their engine design, saying, so we basically solved the key challenges the old rotaries had with combustion and with oiling. Those oiling challenges caused both durability issues and emissions problems. By making those components stationary, we solved the challenges of the old rotary, and we also upgraded its cycle to give it much higher efficiency. Liquid Piston has been working on developing their revolutionary X engines for nearly two decades. During this long period, they have tested various prototypes in different applications, such as small aircraft and go-karts. These prototypes have demonstrated impressive capabilities, with naturally aspirated versions producing up to 40 horsepower and forced induction engines 
generating an impressive 70 horsepower. What is truly remarkable about these engines is their versatility in running on different fuels, including diesel, gasoline, hydrogen, and propane. Currently, Liquid Piston is focusing on perfecting the XTS 210 engine, with a specific emphasis on its compatibility with JP-8 Jet A fuel, which is widely used in defense and aerospace applications. This fuel has a high energy density and a low freezing point, making it suitable for high altitude and extreme temperature operations. The XTS 210 engine is expected to offer significant advantages over conventional engines in terms of power, weight, fuel efficiency, and reliability. Meanwhile, Liquid Piston is developing a 40 GPX engine that can power small boats and watercraft. This engine is based on the same innovative rotary design as the XTS 210 engine, but with a smaller size and a higher power density. The 40 GPX engine prototype is a compression ignition diesel engine that has demonstrated initial operating capabilities of the engine architecture. The engine is capable of running for a short time at light load and has shown a net indicated efficiency of 33% at light load which compares to tilde 30-40% efficiency in this size range of diesel engines at part load. The engine is also very compact and lightweight, weighing only 30 pounds and having a volume of 1.75 liters. A standard 35 GP diesel engine, on the other hand, weighs 300 pounds and has a volume of 17 liters. The 40 GP X engine prototype can be used to power small boats and watercraft, such as dinghies, jet skis, and kayaks. The engine can provide more speed, lower fuel consumption, and lower emissions than conventional outboard motors. The engine can also be integrated with a hybrid system such as a battery or a supercapacitor to provide additional power and efficiency. The engine's improved noise, vibration, and harshness NVH, characteristics will also enhance the user experience and comfort. Not just that. Liquid Piston is also developing a hybrid electric scooter that uses a 3GPX engine as a range extender. The scooter is called the X-Engine Hybrid Electric Scooter, and it is designed to demonstrate the benefits of their X-Engine technology for urban mobility. The X-Engine is a compact, lightweight, and efficient rotary engine that can run on various fuels and produce electricity for hybrid systems. The scooter uses a 3GPX engine as a range extender, which can charge the battery while the scooter is parked or in motion, and can extend the range of the scooter from 30 miles to over 200 miles. The X-Engine hybrid electric scooter also features a regenerative braking system, which recovers kinetic energy from braking and converts it into electrical energy to recharge the battery. The scooter has a top speed of 50 miles per hour and a curb weight of 220 pounds. The scooter is expected to be available for purchase in 2024 and will offer a cost-effective and eco-friendly alternative to conventional scooters and motorcycles. One of the remarkable achievements in Liquid Piston's journey is their recent contract with the U.S. Army, which is worth a substantial dollar nine million. This contract has boosted their total military contract earnings to more than $30 million, demonstrating their credibility and potential in the defense sector. With this new support, Liquid Piston is gearing up to commercialize the XTS 210 engine, a revolutionary design that promises to deliver high efficiency and power density. They expect to deliver a prototype in 2024, marking a significant milestone in their development process. The immediate applications for the XTS 210 engine are likely to be in portable generators and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, where the engine's compact size and low weight offer significant advantages. However, the potential of this engine extends beyond these domains. There is an ongoing project that is evaluating its suitability for use in a hybrid electric vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL UAV which shows the engine's adaptability and promising future in various innovative and critical industries. Shkolnik, the CEO and co-founder of Liquid Piston, highlighted the benefits of their engine in a press release, saying, There are essentially no diesel engines in the 25-horsepower power class today that are suitable for aerospace and mobile military applications, where size and weight parameters are especially critical. The reduced weight, size, and heavy or multi-fuel capability of the XTS-210 delivers significant end-system capability and utility benefits.
especially for the military to reduce supply chain and logistical burdens in an era where power on the move is increasingly important. Indeed, with the rapid advancement of electrification in the automotive and transportation sectors, developing new combustion engine concepts might seem like a challenging endeavor. However, it's essential to recognize that the military sector operates under distinct conditions and requirements, making a full transition to electric power a complex and lengthy process. The military needs engines that can withstand harsh environments, deliver high performance, and use various types of fuels. Electric vehicles, while offering some advantages, also have some limitations, such as battery weight, charging time, and range. Therefore, the military cannot rely solely on electric power for its operations and needs to explore other options that can meet its specific needs. The liquid piston design's unique features, such as portability and multi-fuel capability, position it as a promising candidate for military applications. The ability to efficiently operate across a broad spectrum of conditions is crucial for military equipment, where reliability and versatility are paramount. The military has shown interest in the X-Engine and has awarded Liquid Piston several contracts to develop and demonstrate its potential for various military applications. For instance, the X-Engine could be used to power drones, generators, robots, vehicles, and other devices that require high power density, fuel efficiency, and multi-fuel capability. The X-Engine could also be integrated with hybrid electric systems, which could further improve the energy efficiency and environmental friendliness of the military equipment. While electrification is gaining ground in various sectors, it's clear that the military's specific needs and the existing infrastructure for liquid fuels ensure that combustion engines, especially innovative and adaptable ones like liquid piston, will remain relevant for a significant period. If the XTS-210 engine proves its efficiency and durability in diverse military operations, it may well find a path to volume manufacturing, providing valuable solutions for defense applications in an evolving technological landscape. The X engine is not only a potential solution for the military, but also for commercial and aerospace applications, where high power density, fuel efficiency, and multi-fuel capability are important. The X-Engine could revolutionize power generation, transportation, aviation, marine, agriculture, mining, construction, and other industries. The X-Engine could also be a game-changer for developing countries, where access to electricity and clean fuels is limited or unreliable. The X-Engine could provide a reliable and affordable source of power and mobility for these regions, improving the quality of life and economic development of the people. For instance, the X-Engine could be used to power microgrids, water pumps, refrigerators, medical equipment, and other devices. Speaking about how the XTS-210 engine could have a significant impact on power generation in remote areas or agricultural machinery for increased efficiency. The XTS-210 engine could provide reliable and efficient power for various applications, such as military, emergency, recreational, and off-grid use. The engine is compact and lightweight, which makes it easy to transport and install. The engine can run on various fuels, such as diesel, jet fuel, propane, and hydrogen, which reduces the dependency on a single fuel source. The engine is also designed to be compatible with hybrid electric systems, which can improve the fuel economy and reduce the emissions of the generator. On agricultural machinery for increased efficiency, the XTS-210 engine could power a variety of agricultural machinery, such as tractors, harvesters, sprayers, and pumps. The engine is smaller and lighter than conventional piston engines, which reduces the weight and size of the machinery. The engine can also provide more torque and power, which can improve the performance and productivity of the machinery. The engine can run on different fuels, which can lower the fuel costs and increase the availability of the machinery. The engine is also optimized for hybrid electric applications, which can enhance the energy efficiency and environmental friendliness of the machinery. The X-Engine is a novel and innovative combustion engine concept that could challenge the dominance of piston engines in the market. It is the result of years of research and development by Liquid Piston, a company that aims to revolutionize the field of rotary engines and provide a viable alternative to piston engines for various applications. As electrification takes off, 
the X-Engine could be a complementary or transitional technology that could bridge the gap between the current and the future of energy and mobility. We're eager to hear your thoughts. Share your insights on the future of engines in the comments below. What application do you find most intriguing for the X-Engine? Thanks for watching, fam. Click now on the next video that pops up on the screen. It's mind-blowing.